mercies and his grace. Lift up your hand. And begin to thank the Lord. Magnify him. For the grace that has bestowed upon us.
Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Turn to somebody sitting beside you. The glory of the Lord will be seen upon your life. And the power will be made manifest. Because God will magnify himself in your life. You are going to be edified. And the very Satan will be glorified. Because the Lord is ready to show his identity in your life. So this very morning, I want you to open up your spirit, open yeah. up your heart, and let's discuss the word of God. There's something about this church, and I love it so much. The word of God is very accurate and profound. And if you're a member of this church, and you cannot grow thereby, then it means that there's something wrong about your life. So you must be very attentive and also very alert all the time when the word of God is being preached. I hope you carry it to open your books and also your Bible. Then let's go to Zechariah chapter 9, the verse 12. Turn you to the strongholds, ye prisoners of hope. Even today, do I declare that I will render or restore double unto you? Read the chief for me. Monsa ne mra abai a ayet dinu mu mu ne dua fo a mu wo eni daso ene yimpo mere kama chamo kose mo huna me di me shwa ne mu. Amen. And let me add Joel chapter number two, the verse twenty-five. The Bible says, "And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillars, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you." And Isaiah chapter 61, the verse 7. For your shame, ye shall have double, and for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in the everlasting land, they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. Mu ani wo anemu mu benya mo ho na ahohura anemu mu bedi mo chefa ho ehurisie eno nti mu benya mo ho na mo asase so da enigie ebe ya mo dia amen by the inspiration of the holy spirit erurade ehunu mu god has spoken through me that this year is our year of double restoration for dominion erurade akasa fa mi mu se afi we ye afi a ye nya engosra and before we end last year, I told some of you that every time that the Lord will give us a team or a message over the year, I become more beneficial than everybody. All because I take it personal, I digest it, I eat it, I make sure that the team will benefit me. And I realized that members, most of them do not benefit. They always hear me telling or people saying that my year of change or my year of divine healing or my year of this, my year of double grace or whatever. But we just say it, but we don't Digest it or take it personal. Sometimes my month of everlasting, my month of establishment, my month of this, my month of overflow, my month of experience of the Holy Spirit. We say this every month, every year, but most of the time we go through the year, we go through the month, we go through the week without having anything 
concerning the team that the Lord has given. I feel him about some people. So you would hear that. So you can't worry. I know about some people. Then so you know, fast so dear, a woman no M Maya. I am trying to put you into remembrance and put your man on this team this year as double restoration for Dominion. That don't let this team pass by. But for some reason, why do you say I feel way a dear a that? So my man feel in trouble. We need some some. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be a blessing upon this team. Amen. Oh, yeah, yeah, now. I am going to be a blessing because of this team. Because I'm going to receive double for whatever the enemy has taken. I'm going to receive double for my shame. I don't know about you. But the prophecy concerning Genesis chapter 1. The Bible says, be replenished, have dominion, subdue, take over, be blessed. This message or this prophecy were given to a man to have it. To have a successful journey. So you must dominate. You must replenish. You must flourish. You must be blessed. You must increase. You must be fruitful. These are prophecies concerning your soul. So if the devil has taken this from you, it means that he has taken your spiritual ingredient and also spice. So whatever will bush or make you become vital or the vitality of your destiny has been taken away. No wonder before we were ending last year by the voice of Reverend Gabriel and Sam came here and endorsed that apostle, the Lord is telling me that I should tell you that you are the new wine. And we have organized a wonderful program concerning the new wine. And the new one is blessing. The new one is vitality. The new one is prosperity. The new one is joy. The new one is life. So if you have already received life, vitality, prosperity, I don't know the reason why you are still sitting. With that clapping your hands and throwing back your head and say, I receive my new wine. I receive my new wine. Hallelujah. Amen. So you cannot end this year without receiving anything. It won't be good to me. We are free. But by the grace of God. We started this year with a wonderful seven days conference. That one alone must fertilize your destiny. It must give you a wonderful platform to exhibit anything that God has given to you. You must chance into this conference and exhibit any given mandate that God has assigned onto your life. Everything that will help you to come out with something powerful, I am ready for you. Amen. But it takes you to accept the fact that you have a problem. It takes you to accept the fact that I, I need to be restored. So I don't want to emphasize more on the double. Double can be simply be defined as twice or of a quantity or something made up of two. As we read the quotations, you saw and you heard that everything came by double. May God give you double. Amen. May God give you double. Amen. God in his meaningful wisdom don't operate alone. He operates as God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And all his creation made them in twos. Including man. This means that in this kingdom, double is necessary. First John chapter 5, the verse 7 says, For there are three that bear records in heaven. 
First John chapter 5, it is a yam yansa in a dia dance. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. We yan kopon a ja a samano and a conqueror. And these three are one. Nasami and say kabum yapa. So as we have God the Trinity, to say a way on yakopon basafa, they work in different manner. That's why you are Juma and Pampenso. So it's my humble prayer on this podium. It is a yam and pie one of pain that this same a queer. Sawa a yam queer. This same yam. Sawa yam. This same a fear. Sawa a fear. We are going to have four companies. And it will work for your benefit. I don't know who I'm talking to. My God. But this may be your prophecy. It will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. May this same Kweku, may this same Kofi, you are going to have two, three, four sources of income. Amen. Your aim is too big for my life. Amen. Hello. Hi. If God operate in three dimensions but he's one that means that your name cannot change from Solomon to Abuaje or Stephen to Kweku or Victor to maybe Asante the same Paulina why we are Paulina now? The same Teresa. Who Teresa now? The same Estrifi. Who Estrifi now? The same Gladys. Who Gladys now? The same Asamoa. Who Asamoa now? The same Williams. Who William now? The Lord will pick your life and, and multiply it and increase it. I don't know who I'm talking to, oh but the man they give it to me as a prophet, I prophesy over 21 people receive double restoration. I receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are blessed and highly favored. May you never die without experiencing double. May you never die without experiencing restoration. You are about to be restored because last year was a change and God has changed your mind. He has changed everything about you. The rest is to enjoy double restoration, double power, double anointing. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I pray by the oil function upon my life. Hey, you see double. You see anointing. I am coming from mountain. I pray for you by the ocean give you to me. By the first power, by the first anointing, give it to me this week. So I pray for you. I impart it unto you. We should double. We see impartation. Jesus said eh, the word that I speak, eh, they are alive and they are spirit. I pray for 21 people. I speak life. I speak power. I speak anointing in the name of Jesus. If somebody can catch you and the case can manifest, I stand on this eagle altar and I bless. Bless your soul. I bless your body. I bless your spirit. I bless your business. I bless your man. The Bible says, "For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. Put someone else to pull down. Put down that stronghold. That negativity. At Kodoya. Put somebody by the hand. Tell the person, I put that stronghold in your mind. You will never die." But you will leave and fulfill your destiny and the stronghold in your mind telling you that you cannot make it. The Bible says, put them down. And every imagination that has shot at itself against the plans, the knowledge, and the purpose of God. The Bible says, bring them down to the captivity of the obedience of Christ. I pray for you. And the imagination, Santa, when you are sitting there, when you are walking, so many imagination comes through your mind. But the Lord is telling me, put them down, put them down, put them down. The nostril telling you that you will die before you die. I am here to announce to you, you will die, but you will live and fulfill your destiny. The nostril in your mind tell you that that sickness will kill you. The Bible says, by his tribe, we are here. I pray for you. May the God of Esther change your story. May the God of Daniel change your story. May the God of David change your story. I see 21 people dancing a new dancer. I see three people singing a new song. 2024, there's a new dimension. There's a new power coming to you. Lift up your voice. Yeah, da, 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 do, sha, sha. There is a not coming. There is power coming. Are you the one I'm talking to? Are you the one receiving the prophecy? Put somebody by the hand. Tell the person, you are ready for trouble. Ready for anointing. Ready for breakthrough. Ready for salvation. Ready for improvement. Ready for transformation. Are you the one that's not behind? Sha, yeah. 
any double for my shame, for my trouble. The Bible says, for your trouble, you shall have it in double. I don't know what you have been through, but something about life. Life will never give you what you want, but what you fight for. Paul says, I've fought a good fight. I've run the race. I've kept the faith. I am waiting for the crown of glory. So I pray for you. I know you have been through hell. You have been through problems. Last 10 years was not easy. You should have died. But God kept you for a reason. I pray for you. The God that kept you last two years. He will keep you this year. Slap your two hands and shout. Hey! hey! So I will never die. I will never die. Say I need double. I need double. If my God will pray in double, He will pray in your life according to His power and His sovereignty. God is double. God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. God the Father. With my eyes open, I prophesy. Quasi Company. That is Transport Company. That's Pure Water Company. Are you the one who received this prophecy? Receive it in the name of Jesus. Take it by faith, take it by power in the name of Jesus. Push somebody, shut that person. Power anointing is very vital. You must receive double, shall double, shall double. One face anointing, business, finance, opportunities, breakthroughs can last just a moment, but when you have access to operate in double portion. I am telling you, your blessing, your business, your breakthroughs, your opportunities, it will be everlasting. That's why Elisha said to Elijah, I don't need anything. I don't need car. I don't need any document. I don't need what to visa to UK. But I need double portion of your anointing. I need double power of your not and Elijah said you have asked something difficult but if you see me going that means that this year those who are very vigilant they will receive the power I don't know who I'm talking to mamas will not receive it complainers will not receive it but the people that keep their mouth shut and look up unto God you are going to receive the double portion of your destiny slap your hands and shout hey hey if you see me going, you have it in double. Tell somebody again, are you ready, my sister, my brother, for restoration? Say restoration. restoration. I don't know the reason why God commanded David to rise on 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my so may God restore your broken soul. May God restore your broken life and your broken heart. I see God restore it there in the name of Jesus. He restored my soul. Sometimes life will break you down. Sometimes in life you'll be broken emotionally, mentally, physically, socially. You'll be broken. But we have a God who can restore the broken cities, the broken marriage, the broken business. Are you the one to receive restoration? Yakadaya. Restoration in business. Restoration in power. Say God restore. God restore. Say God restore. God restore. Restoration is the process of bringing someone or something back to his or its original state. Usually after having been forced to step down. So anytime you hear restoration, we are telling you that God is about to restore back the original destiny or whatever you're supposed to receive and you are yet not receive. God is about to restore it. Some of you, you shall go too far. You shall live with your husband, your wife, but you are still single, spinster, you are still bachelor. But I hear God telling me whatever supposed to come to your life four years ago, and the devil delayed it, it is coming in double in the name of Jesus. Say so it's a process. Who somebody tell the person God is processing me? God is processing me. It's a process. Don't look at me and look down on me. God is processing something. It's a process. Don't look at my current situation and insult me. I am in the process of receiving double. Ah! 
say I am in the process. He's processing my life. He's processing my testimony. I don't care what you tell me. I don't care what you do at me. I am overcome. Barrier breaker. History changer. I don't care the insult. I am more than insult. You can insult me. You can gossip about me. I don't care because God is processing my life. When something is being processed, you will never see the beauty, the glamour, the ambience of that thing. When the process has come to an end, you will see the glory of that thing that we're processing. I pray for you. There's a young guy here. There's a young woman here. God is processing your life. It's a process. Don't worry. Don't die now. God is processing your life. Don't allow any family pressure to pressure you. We shall be seen as a process. God is processing my life. Go and tell them they can count up. They can conspire. They can have their meetings against me. I don't care. I don't have a car. I don't care. I don't have a husband. I don't care. My life is under process. I don't know who I'm talking to. But 2024, I hear God telling me, yeah, it's a process. God is processing you. So, yes. Better for you to receive it and be attentive. Glue yourself here because the flat is about to move. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lake it here. The flat of prosperity. Oh, the jet of new business is about to take off. I don't know, but I feel it. I feel it. Within my spirit, there is a process of bringing something back again. There is a process of restoring destinies again. Restoration is a process. Sometimes it won't come just overnight. It's a process. You are going through process. So if God wants to process your life, just be quiet and watch him. I've learned something about movie. Any time you are watching movie, there's a producer somewhere that I don't see the producer and the writer or the script or the story. But trust me, you see characters moving through the movie. But the originator, the one that called producer, he's behind the scene organizing everything. There's a book in the Bible called the book of Esther. You will never see the name of God mentioned. God God was the producer producing something about Esther. He was processing something about Esther and Mordecai. So sometimes you yourself, you don't even see God. You will never see God or feel God. But trust me, if the Lord give you the opportunity to see a day, it's a process. It means that the producer is processing your life. Don't allow the gossipers to edify and to identify you or to give you identity because of your current character or your current problem I don't know say my life is like a film my life is like a movie my life is like a story God is the producer he's the writer of the scripts he's the one who has written everything about me I am just a character I am just playing around whatever you see has been orchestrated organized is combined, inspired by somebody behind the scene. So don't put your hands at me and insult me because of my current prayer. The one who allowed me to go through prayer, he promised me that if I'm going through water, water will not destroy me. If I'm going through fire, fire will not pay me. Can I prophesy? I pray for you. The God of Shadrach, the God of Abednego, the God of Meshach, he will protect you. Maybe you are going through fire but trust me the producer is somewhere he's looking at you he know you can do it sometimes in the film or in the movie we have different characters the producer knows the one who can play this character sometimes somebody can play a character by crying or by fuck or by any character 
sometimes the one that watching will sit down and he shot the person who is shooting and killing people the producer knows that if I use you for this character it will fix the film it will fix the movie it will project the light on the movie so sometimes your mom will not understand you your dad will not understand you even your pastor will not understand you there's some character there's some madness there's some situation that we're going through you yourself you don't understand but the producer the writer of the movie he has given you the mandate to go through this so it will come to pass the whole two years you will go to work it will come to pass you go through miscarriage it will come to pass you go through abuse it will come to pass you go to misunderstanding don't worry baby i am trusting god that in all things you will be more than conqueror are you the one i'm talking to put somebody it's a process Take it easy for your first son. It's a process. You may not see God working, working, acting. But he's behind that character. I don't know who I'm talking to. When you read the whole book of Esther, you will never see God. Prayer was made in the Bible in the book of Esther. Fasting was made in the book of Esther. But you will never see the name of God. But God acted powerfully. He dealt with them very beautifully. If you can see God in my life, it doesn't mean that God has rejected me. He's behind the scene. You can see my God. Keep on insulting me. When the process comes to an end, you will see the progress. It takes the process to bring progress. It's about the ability of progress. Products are available. And, and, and when products are available, say marketing. Marketing is inevitable. It's inevitable. Um, yeah, but, uh, this year you are going to have more products in your warehouse. Ah. I'm talking about visions and dreams and missions. I don't know who I'm talking to. This year. God has preserved my life to exalt, ginger, motivate, and energize, and support you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Are you the one? Are you the one? I am the one. The reason why you need God to restore you. One way or the other. Everyone has lost something in this life. But whenever the believer comes to understand that the, the mystery of life. Is battles. So you must come to realization that life is full of battle. It will give you the restoration power to battle for whatever the enemy or life has taken from you. So we have two sources that has power and ability to take something from your life. And these two sources, one is from the source of the devil. And another way is the inability of your life. Hallelujah. Amen. By your own sense, experience, wisdom, and knowledge. Sometimes it may not be the devil. By your inactive lifestyle. That's the reason why many people lose so many things. So the battles of life can take something from your life. And the whole life that we live. I told you, life is a way of living. So if you pass through a wrong way, you will feel disappointed, delayed, 
you feel that God has rejected you. That's what David said, teach me the ways of life. Many people lost so many things in the Bible. Nobody lost property. This time around, I've prayed to God that nobody will lose property in this house. The most shameful or affront part of life is when a man has struggled and gets something in the Lord and sudden overnight he has lost everything. We have powers who can cast you out from your excellency. So if you're not careful, you may be working in your excellency. But the enemy can cast you down. I've seen someone who was owning so many properties. Because of battles of life. He lost everything. He ended up using old Volvo and he was staying at Equiapim. But one of the days, he was having properties around. I don't know who I'm talking to. But may you never lose any property. Amen. May you never sell your property. Amen. Hey, sister, can I you? Amen. You see, if I'm not careful, you will sell a property. And by two years, you will cry. These people that have property. If you have a property, pick a seed. And come to the altar and say, Lord, I will never lose my property. When I mentioned property, I saw goose in a warehouse. And people were giving tickets for the goose. And the Lord said, These are the people that have lost something in the spiritual realm. But the Lord is giving you a ticket to get back whatever the enemy has taken. Nabot lost the whole property. He was having land title. And the land title was a document from his forefathers. By yesterday. so so. Ahab and his wife Ahab and then he rejected. used the power of manipulation and juju powers and then come so to destroy Nabot, Nabot to kill Nabot, Nabot disgrace Nabot, Nabot and kill the property. The Lord who revealed to me, my God, I won't pray for you. No. It's about heart. My can't you would one year. Nabot. He was having line title. But yesterday, they took it. Not just taking it. But they killed him. So that some people, your property will be taken away. And they will kill you. Yeah. So in this life, whenever you see something has happened to people in the Bible, anything can happen to you. Any litigation concerning your house, your building, anything controversy concerning any property, it may be your store, it may be your investment, it may be anything. May the Lord intervene. If there is no issue concerning your property, May the Lord cover it. Amen. I know somebody in, in this church. I was telling you people yesterday. Yes. He had already built a house, complete self-contained. Self-contained, I And suddenly, yeah. they broke down the building. Meanwhile, no one did permit. But yes, sir, mm. they broke it. People are losing a lot of things. People are losing properties. And some of you, it's not about your party is one more, but what you intend to do, a few ones are. Loss of business. Job lost business. Loss of family. Now, me and Job lost their family. Loss of money. Woman with the issue of, issue of blood. Lost money and everything. Loss of opportunities. King Saul lost opportunities. Loss of life. Something lost his life. And 
I will pick it one by one from next week going. How to lose your life. And some of you, you will cry that day. Some of you, you are sitting here, but you are not you. You have lost yourself. Marriage, relationship, business, life has made you lose yourself. You pretend to be nice, but trust me, you are, you are not okay. I don't know whoever has lost yourself. Losing yourself means losing identity. When you lose your identity, you will find it difficult to know what to do. There will be no sign of vision or dreams in your head. Are you say you way? You all say you way. You are confused. Minton way, minton way. Everyone's identity defines your thinking, your movement, your actions. We need person who is here. What what journey? We need a who here. Any one cost what? Doctor attire chair also a doctor. Yes. Police attire chair also a police me. Yes. But what we need attire be a? How are we going to identify you? Wow. So when you lose yourself. You have lost your identity. And when you lose your identity, you will be like any other man. Wow. So we when, when we say someone is a foolish person, it's someone who has to lose himself. Sometimes years, seven years. 10 years, she or he doesn't know what to do in the future. Yeah. But I said, 17 years. I said, nah, minimum. I don't know. That means the person has lost his own identity from the womb. Mm. Wow. Jesus grew with wisdom, knowledge, and power. At the age of 12 years, he was able to diagnose and know that I'm supposed to do this. He was able to, he left the parent and went to somewhere, stayed for three days, mm. doing teacher tongue. Teacher teaching for three days without bathing, without going out, sitting in the church, teaching for three days, 72 hours. 12 years. Teaching. 12 years. And then Obawo, 18 years, Okoye says, Otumbo in Chini say, Wolmini also were here. I said, What Tiano Bono said, Nenchi. You see, do you think I'm normal? Leave your son when he, he got 25 years. He will live in an abominable life. The generation today, they have lost themselves. They have lost themselves to cartoons, Twitter, WhatsApp, Facebook, many things. They are working in different identities, celebrities, and other stuff. Somebody that you don't know, you are, you are taking him as your mentor. Hey. Obia wu ni mino, wafano, se obia wu chinyano. I'm telling you, that's the reason why as a father, as a mother, because the first person that you must take as your mentor is your father and your mother. Because your daughter or your son will walk in your identity. They project the projection of your son's blessing or your future determine the father or the mother. The projection of your son's blessing or your future determine the father or the mother. Or the guide. Am I making sense or noise? You are making sense. Loss of time. Say, what share it and Hey, the day I preach this, some of you, you won't even go home. Destiny is measured in time. Or share it, yeah, the emirate na isusu. Ma make a little key. Enkrabia. Okay. Yeah, the emirate and isusu. Okay. If you are three emirate. You yeah, treat time as tape measure. You yeah, treat on crabia. Okay. You yeah, measure every habit here. And my third and crabia. Or some my third from habit sitting there. Oh, you will. But you share a bit more than you share. Wow. And my third has no power to turn back the hands of time. When time consumes your life, it's positive. But when your life consumes time, Negative. Okay. What the what wow. 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 W
your life has consumed time. I just will to a lot of people have wasted time and abused time. Yes. Life is not fair. Yes. Yes. The day you know, say God brought me to your life for a reason. My God. You see, you are here, you are spending your life because of this time of preaching. Yes. Baby, you see, baby, you preaching. No, no, we are free. One man can have daddy and Ben Kwani will live. Yeah, Ibu Oduna. I don't know how to talk. I'm so so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, very deep. Wow. Instrumentalist. Waste of time. Carry says, waste of time. Should I charge it? When you come with your son, use it well. When you come out your media, use it well. Administrator, use it well. And some of the admin that will teach you now concerning say who no, use it well. Obu ano mo wasora ya or your usher or your prayer tower or your dusita or tiano or or information your man kofo. And you can say, and you can say, and to ashamed of yourself. Mm. Oh, be a book of all true information, a question and a macusiano. What the information, ma? Why are you at home for? When you're serious. Wow. Because <laughs> destiny is measured in time. Destiny is measured in time. Because in time. In time. A brim, a brim, it's in 2024. A brim. You should have brought a womb. So your life is measured in 2024. So we sit down and do lentil to 2024. You are measured to work. So if you have to build a house to a lentil, it is there already. To say a if it passed by, you can't tell the house of time. You have wasted it. Come on. So assuming your time settle as a married person, time to settle as business person, time to travel has all been misused or lost. The result will be only delays, mm -hmm. rejection, dejections. Over face a poor, Namin when in the year, Namin, Namian Kyle. But the bomb pairs are now watching near Fino. Abosh. To a chubetu or me preaching the next month. Lack of discerning. Raising why a month for losing your man. Okay. Lack of what? Discerning. O bon man, oh, who's a new papa? O twin discerning. It's your two honor. The casting better than what Jedi. Okay. Ubi eba o yandam for discerning, lack, the ability to know the perfect will of God. Se be me weye papa, oba we be buami. Wa nye careful wa hundi. De be ba for no se ah my mistake. Eba di mo e this year. Another one carelessness. Can I mean to carelessness? Whenever man becomes careless of his thought, his actions, his emotions, his speech. Over your careless own, one year, what ten can, or cassa, do you never your role? And the day I preach this, the Biana, Bufua, when the Gia, who didn't say who? Carelessness. To one man, looking his cap, nine large, my menu, or no coco, or no banana. Carelessness. It will just get the chair to one nine. The Nijaba could turn some and go for the three feet. Carelessness, emotions, emotions, and your bonio. I idea would be promote my own negative, positive. The what in kind of energy are a war, a condo. Nina say a trigger your actions matters a lot. Yeah. 
Your actions are bad. The man will beat me no one year, Juma. Will beat me no one nante. So all this thing I will treat it this year. That's the actions. Actions. We cast any day. We cast any training. We are very skillful person. Very, very talented. But we cast any. We born yesterday. Cast any. We can throw. Hey, and throw. And throw. Create drama. Create a story. There be chono. You lose something. The controls are they come from the speech, Casa, Casa, I send that one over two. Nobody came one friend out one walk or twice in Penicana San Walker Kenby. Who could do come on frail, walk at the Honomo? Now I said the Mira or so Uniano. You have thrown out one walk or twice in as a be beer inquisitive, be beer one over two, beer on a market. You can't be asked, my brass and rock or two. You can't be asked and rock or two. I say, I send Pia the Kemi. Be be a cool way crowd. This year, be careful. Mind your business. Shine or shine. Amen. Make a shine or shine. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This I'm saying that you're home. Yes, our actions, your emotions, your speech, will be losing your man. Amen. One more year too much. We'll be on a Bema Pasia, Bema Boa. Or Bafo, or Beggy Mifo, we don't know a kind of satrak, no chip, no co, teach it in Miss Oh, you see, this I know, ma. Can you catch your goose? Then we ask with me again. My dream briefy. Catch your book, or there was a margin briefy. As a wow, bang, I said, with Tiara. Because who couldn't you teach to work as a Tinaida? Your castle ye, the Bebu. There's a Belusu idea, Belusu baby, Bebu. Ignorance is so calm. There be an enemy, there be an enemy. There's a muhu, swinger, abuse and misuse. When you are there, no one say no. What you know, what you must No one shining in a don't misuse and abuse it. Save it, keep it. A brain in home. And then I was like 30,000. Can you hear you move in some way? You're abusing your mom. You're abusing your mom, misusing your mom. Now I'm trying to DM say, hey, you're right. Can you hear me? Give me the same term one. I don't want my fan. Come on, family, sick and no uncle shim. Abuse, misuse, or chow home, me hoarding, may ye, one ye careful, or chamber banner, now we see me or ya, now we see the rebel, now we see Bruce, I style be, that's all to nothing. And over time, we see me here, Missy Day. Now we see me here. Test and try us, and also come home, Yapon. Test and try us. Me and I are the Ametric show. So one of my nearest who remember to Boise, said that they are ready to be I prophesy over twelve people, but the ancient function upon my life. The Bema descended from three mountains. Only be biara or or your royal ba. Empire you share will be upon us. Emma royal safuma. I prophesy for my spirit. As Ezekiel prophesied, or be biara or your part of royal victory, or your prayer partners, Empire the part twenty one, Kobomamo, or be Pokon Konoso. I confirm it, I affirm it upon this altar. Receive your portion, receive your marriage, receive your business, receive your traveling, receive your health, receive your life. May you get back yourself. Get back yourself. Get back your business. Get back your mind. In the name of Jesus, may the God of royal victory give you special favor to say through all troubles. In the name of Jesus, may you never lack oil on your head. You are blessed and highly favored. You are blessed beyond curses. In the name of Jesus, show a class on come. Show brass on com, ye dear Tosso, a dum Tosso, no baby, I won't sanka, a way you should do, O Wunyane, Yarian Yane, and the Guasian Yane, a way you should do. Now, what is the Kenya Wadia? Ye dear Wadia, I don't see a man.